everyone, welcome to Now Showing. I'm Artika Faruqi. A film about social issues, a conversation with a Telugu superstar, a film that changed someone's life, and some Punjabi music. We have packed all of this in today's show. So, let's begin. But first, are the highlights. Here is a relevant film, powerfully told and emotionally felt. Telugu superstar Nani on how RRR has changed the industry and what's the origin of his screen name. Richard Chadda talks about the film that changed her life. And singer Dalair Mehdi talks about working with M.M. Kiravani and singing in Metaverse. Let's talk about this week's theatrical release Bheer. Anubhav Sinha's Bheer is clearly a passion project. It's not made for a Friday box office. It's a take a comment and an introspective piece for future generations to repent on. After the lockdown was announced, the migrant workers working in the cities started marching towards their hometowns, mostly to UP and Bihar. A few hundreds of them had to congregate at a check post in UP. This was a mixed crowd. A man who worked as a valiant security guard played by fabulous Pankaj Kapoor who suffers from caste supremacy, believes all what he sees on TV but is a responsible patriarch and would go to any length to protect his ailing brother from being taken to quarantine without his family and will provide food to his children even if that means standing in the face of a bullet. It has a woman here, mostly called as the Black Fortuna Wali Madam, played by Dia Mirza, who has to rush to her daughter's hostel to pick her up. She knows little about the on-ground problems of workers as she comments in ki immunity bohat high hoti hai, which some people did insensitively comment at the time of the COVID crisis. The film lifts the exact story of a young girl who literally transports her father on a cycle from Delhi to her native town, Darbhanga in Bihar. It also has a reporter played by Krutika Kamra and her team where the story tries to understand the role of a journalist in today's times. This is class conflict, but there is another one running in parallel here, and that is a dialogue about caste conflict. The police officer, played by Raj Kumar Rao, who grew up watching men being flogged for walking into upper caste territory. He is now the in charge of the check post here. The super cop also, the boss played by Ashutosh Rana, who is extremely mindful of the sanctity of the caste structure or it may be sacrilegious to question it. And a medical student played by Bhumi Pednekar in love with Raj Kumar Rao here. But will her upper caste family accept this self-made cop who originally belongs to Tikas community? All of this comes together to make a socially evocative film. The film is directed and produced by Anubhav Sinha and written by Anubhav Sinha, Soumya Tiwari and Sonali Jain. The film's poignant dialogues like when Rajkumar Rao says to his beloved Bhumi Pidnekar, who plays a medical worker here, Hum aapke ghar aayenge, lekin chappal pehen kar, taking a dig at the age-old custom of people of lower caste walking across a village of upper caste people with their slippers on their heads. In another scene, the driver of the Amirza's car instantly goes to the help of the girl on the cycle, ignoring her screams and comes back to say, Hum apni nahi aap ki zarurat ke liye wapas aaye hai, madam. Ek dusre ke saath nahi denge, to phir kaam kaise chalega? There are so many poignant dialogues by aggrieved characters over the brazenness of caste equation or biases that you come out thinking exactly what they said and why did they say it. The film is shot in black and white, aptly symbolizing the colorless palette of human misery in that exodus. Somik Mukherjee gives the film a powerful mix of a documentary drama and a fictional piece kind of an impact. The music by Anurag Saikia is sometimes haunting, especially when the scenes brutally showcase the workers being killed under a train or being severely injured. On the flip side though, just one thing can be said that sometimes the story meanders from a lockdown migrant issue to article 15 genre, kind of a take on caste which makes these turns sometimes feel unorganic as if too much was tried to be put into one film that was roughly at 120 minutes. But when I walked out, I was filled with respect for this filmmaker who uses cinema for telling the stories of the voiceless. It's worth your time. Watch Bheer. Now, Nani. 
superstar Nanny, whose name is actually Naveen, tells me for the first time how he got his screen name, Nanny. <laughs> Worked with SS Rajamouli in Makhi, that is Iga, and now his film Dasara releases in theatres in Hindi as well. It boasts of a stellar cast and the same palette that RRR and KGF had. We talk about the return of Masi cinema, the effect of RRR's success at the Oscars on local cinema, inclusive themes at the box office now and the irrelevance of any borders when it comes to languages in cinema. Hi Nani, welcome Hi. to Mumbai and Thank you. Uh, a big welcome in the Hindi film industry, Thank though it's not your first time, but I will talk about that too. First of all, tell me, you know what Nani means in Hindi? I know grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They used you to tease me when I was in school. I used to study in this school called Sultan Ulum Public School and uh, they all used to bully me saying, Nani tera nana ka hai. And, <laughs> yeah. So I used to go home and cry. Yeah. And I don't want to go back to school. Yeah. So I'll never forget what Nani means. <laughs> <laughs> so but what, imagine. What does it mean though? Nani means, Nani is, Nani is the most common pet name. In, uh, in Telugu household, when oh. to call babies, like a chotu. Oh! Yeah. So everybody calls me Nani at home, my friends call me Nani. Hmm. Uh, my name is actual name, my registered name is Naveen. Yeah, of course. So, um, but I thought, name hmm. is your identity. Yeah. What everyone calls you is your name. Yeah. So, when they asked me for the screen name and I did my first film, hmm. because everybody, all the people who love me call me Nani. Hmm. So I said I'll go with Nani. So Dasara actually means the Shehra. Yeah, correct. Right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, in Telugu, the Shehra is uh, spoken as Dasara. Dasara. Right, and it means the triumph of good over evil. Correct. And uh, I saw the trailer. What a sparkling trailer it is! The amount of natural beauty that I see in your films, it's missing in ours. Mm -hmm. And the amount of love and respect that you give to your uh, rural landscape. The men and women from rural India is something that we lack. Uh, your character wears a lungi. Mm. Hindi cinema, mein, the lead actor doesn't wear a lungi, mm. apart from Shah Rukh Khan's film, <laughs> you know, that lungi dance. So, uh, first of all, I love that about uh, this Thank movie. you. Thank you. And uh, tell me, how is it the triumph of good over evil and what is it in your character? Uh, it is, like you said, uh, um, Dasra, it, it, it does, you know, denote that you know, triumph of good over evil and if you really take a log line of what Dasra is all about, the, mm. what the film is all about, mm. it is also, it's triumph for good over evil and also not just that, mm. there is a direct connection with the festival Dasra in the film, mm. which it kind of starts with the festival, it kind of ends with the festival. So, mm. so it is the apt title, if you even, if you look at the film and uh, if I show you the film without the title and ask you to put a name for it, you'll, you'll say, say Dasra. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it is that apt. And the character here is, my character's name is Dharani, mm. Ketis character name is Venala mm. and uh, Dikshit's character name is Suri. Mm. Earth, Moon and Sun. Wow! Yeah, so there is, a, I know it sounds very philosophical yes. but it's like a, it is not never underlined particularly yeah. but when you watch the whole film and when you go back you kind yeah. of understand what the whole equation was. Actually. How it is. It's very beautiful. Yeah. And uh, this is for the second time you are collaborating with Kirti Suresh. Yeah. I must tell you that you look great together. Thank you. It's a great pair. Yeah, my first one was a big blockbuster, our together uh, film, it's called Nain Local and it was a big hit in Hindi also, not, it never released in theatre, huh. but the Hindi dubbing version has some 250 million views. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. On, on YouTube? It's called Super Kiladi 4, uh, which I didn't even know myself and till until one of the uh, recent years when I visited Goa, huh. when I was like, when I thought I'll be peaceful there, hmm. uh, like and privacy and all. Absolutely no privacy and I was wondering how they everyone know me and they all saw this and they were all saying sir one photo Super Kiladi 4 ne bota and I am thinking what is Super Kiladi 4 I, because I didn't know which which film of mine is You didn't even name. know that your film has been dubbed they by are, this name yeah, and, and, is, and some <laughs> 200, 200 or 250 million views imagine I was like okay I went and checked what is Super Kiladi then it, I realized it's name local oh, the wow. film I have done with Kirti and me Amazing. So, and uh, we always thought whenever we come back together, we have to do something away from Nain Local, something amazing. We are so thankful, glad that Dasra happened to us. Now to break this, it's going to be very difficult because the expectations will be high uh, after very this. Very high. Um, you know, this is a very interesting time for an actor. 
Telugu film is there at the Oscars. A song on anti-colonialism was actually celebrated at the Oscars stage. Okay. Imagine what a right. what a world we are living yeah, in. Yeah. Where have we come? As an actor, you're a producer. You're also a writer. You've also been an RJ. You're a you're an actor. And host, television host. <laughs> television host of Big Boss. Assistant director. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've done quite a few things. Tell me about the zone of a multitasker and how does it, is it actually, does it enhances your work? Or sometimes it is a little, it takes away. Everything other than acting, uh, uh, I've done it for different reasons. Acting, I, I do it for the soul, mm. to be part of these stories, mm. to receive the love, it, that's, that's what keeps me going. Mm. Production, I've done to give back. In a way, in a uh, because I feel I was I got support of you know someone who believed in me, and then I am I am able to make it here. Mm. And some way or the other, now now the place I am, and there might be some very interesting new ideas that might come, and I might not be able to do them, mm. but then I want to produce them produce. with somebody else. And if I want to this, you know promote these unique ideas, new talent, new directors, mm. new actors, new technicians, mm. even. That's what I've been doing with my production house. And hosting, I just tried it out. I was like, I just wanted to know what the jazz is about. Yeah. So, each thing for different reasons. And it has contributed to your yeah, yeah. sensibilities as yeah, a performer. Yeah, just to, just to know how what it is. It's yeah. like I was having fun. Yeah. And acting is the thing which I do it. And you're not a trained actor, right? Did you train? No. I went to like, like who? Christopher Nolan, I think. Like, I haven't gone to film school, but I went to films, so <laughs> I'm trained by watching You're trained on the job. Uh, the conversation would be incomplete if I don't mention uh, Raja Mali's film, Iga, mm. which is Makhi in Hindi, where you played the boyfriend of the girl who was later trapped by a very vicious man. We know what you have to say about him, but what do you have to say about Raja Mali? Oh, we're all extremely proud. I think we overnight, without doing anything, without being a part of... Uh, the, his recent films without actually putting in anything or taking anything from there. Yeah. I think what because of what he's doing, I think we all benefited a lot. Yes. In true. some or the other way. So I think I think every um, particularly in Telugu cinema, I think all of us can send 30, 40 percent of our paychecks to him. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I totally think so. And I just hope this clip doesn't go well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, now it is whatever I speak, <laughs> they twist and turn and do some, take something out of it. So, But yeah, I genuinely believe yeah. the overall market went up, the more overall respect yes. went up. So if there is one statue which belongs in Film Chamber Hyderabad, that is Rasis Rajmoli statue. That's true. That's <laughs> right true. now, yeah. If you could learn five to six things, personality traits, attributes from him, what would you suggest they would be? From Rajmoli Yeah. Oh, that's, it's never ending then. It's like there's so much you learn when you when you work with him. It's just not about the work. Now you, nobody can make films like Raj Mulligar. Yeah. It's not like Raj Mulligar is, um, you work with Raj Mulligar, you understand film. No, that man is a genius. He'll, he he just, the way he understands, the way he he experiments with the technology. I've seen him do, he put a, put that Jimmy Jib camera, he put a lemon and he put one uh, circle around the lemon wow. and he asked that guy to follow that circle around the lemon in the Jimmy and that guy was being not able to do it and then Rajmali sir was experiment with the Jimmy Jeb how why he is unable to do and what should be changed in this so that it can actually follow the lemon. It's that kind of madness to just learn technique every you know regularly and do something amazing is unreal. So I will not say these are the things you can learn from it yeah. because it is original that's not something you learn but you can learn so much the, the, the humbleness and the and the way the whole family works together Actually, as one. Actually, everybody beautiful. in their family is it's like beautiful. a stalwart. It's, it's beautiful. And the way you know who, you know, in the, you know there's this 10 people who all work together in the family. And you know Rajmali sir is the, the guy who yeah. uh, all he, but he doesn't think that way. Hmm. He is the guy who is really scared of the rest of the night. <laughs> and, oh, really? and there is a reason. Again, it's not... Just being, uh, he is extremely, he's that one of the family, but once yeah. you meet all of them, yeah. then you real, realize all of them yeah. together make that, uh, you know, that, that powerhouse, powerhouse which comes. Yeah, so it, it's so beautiful. It's yeah. not, uh, it's not, it's just if you understand the whole thing, it is, it is beautiful. Yes. And uh, to, if you can learn a bit of it, 
then it's amazing. Then it's amazing. Yeah. And in the end, I saw on internet there is something like uh, to be announced Nani 30. Nani 30 is uh, right now under shoot. Okay. So uh, we meet again at the. the <laughs> hope so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Looking forward you. to that, Thank Nani. So Thank Thanks you so much. <laughs> Time for a short break. When we come back, we have singer Dalair Mehndi talking about his experience of working in Metaverse. <music> Welcome back to Now Showing. I'm Atika Faruqi. Richa Chadda, who will be seen next in the third installment of Fukre franchise, picked a French classic film. When my colleague Vishal Chatkara asked her to name that film, that changed her life. The film that changed my life was a French film called Emily, made by Jean-Pierre Jeannette. I was in school, I think, and when I first saw it, it was coming at that time on TV. It really made me open my eyes to another way of cinema. For me, it was a film where I could, for the first time, find a, a, a heroine that I could identify with. As a girl who works in a uh, in a bar come slash cafe in Paris, and uh, she really believes that the world is a beautiful place, that her neighbor needs to paint, um, and her dad needs to travel the world. That there is this the guy, this guy who needs to be saved from oppression of his boss. He's selling vegetables on the road, and at the core of it. Um, she needs to find love and she does. She's very intrigued by this guy who takes pictures in all the photo booths and, um, and throughout the film she's always looking for him because she's wondering if he's like her also, try, trying to you know take pictures in different photo booths. Uh, so she always goes there, takes pictures before him, leaves him clues etc. to just make it more interesting. Last year I was on the jury of the Marrakesh Film Festival and on the jury was the director of Emily. So for the longest time I, I couldn't uh, even talk to him because I was so tongue-tied because I had been such a big fan, such a huge fan of this film. It, I've seen it so many times. Um, I have sound boxes and little music boxes of this film's soundtrack and um, art and like coasters and posters and things. So I was really happy to be with him. I can always connect with the do good intentions of the protagonist and her need to find that sort of pure love, uncomplicated love. Music sensation Dalair Mehndi who collaborated with the Oscar winning music composer M.M. Kiravani for Bahubali has also been one of the earlier entrants into the metaverse. My colleague Vishal Chatkara spoke to Dalair Mehndi about his experience of working with M.M. Kiravani and lots more. Listen in. आपने गाना गाया है एसएस राजा मोली की फिल्म बाहुबली के लिए कैसे बयां करना चाहेंगे अपना एक्सपीरियंस राजा मोली और एमएम केरावनी के साथ काम करने का मुझे एमएम किरमाने साहब मुझे बहुत अच्छे लगते हैं मुझे मिस उनका उनका नेचर उनका एक बैठ के उनके जो चेहरे पे हल्की स्माइल उनका काम करने का तरीका उनकी धुने वो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है और उनके काम में एक बेस होता है और जब मुझे इन्होंने बाहुबली के लिए कहा तो मैंने उनके साथ तीन गाने किए थे जो कि रबर गाजरू रबर गाजरू रबर गाजरू दिख जाने रिवर फूलू ये बहुत शान नी वन्टे पारी पारी नू वन्टे पारी पारी तो बड़े गाने हिट हुए तो मुझे जब उनके मैनेजर बादशाह ने फोन किया कि करीम साहब का काम करना चाहते हैं तो मैंने तो एक एक सेकंड में हाथ कर दी और फिर मैं जब गया हैदराबाद शूट करने के लिए रिकॉर्ड करने के लिए और उन्हें बुलाया था उन्होंने मुझे हिंदी गाने के लिए पर उन्होंने शुरू कर दिया तेलुगु से हां जी आपका गाना तुनक तुनक इज दैट वायरल सॉन्ग जो पूरी दुनिया में ऑलमोस्ट सुना जाता है हर जगह क्या बेनिफिट्स और एडवांटेजेस होते हैं फॉर अ म्यूजिशियन जब आपका गाना पूरी दुनिया में सुना जाता है एंड इट ट्रैवल्स बियॉन्ड द द ट्रेडिशनल मार्केट्स जो 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 चीज ऊपर वाले की ब्लेसिंग से क्रिएट होती है वो भी दूर तक कामयाब रहती है अब तुनक तुनक गाना है पूरा राग बेस था और जब मैंने लाभ लिया था रे ना तो मुझे बोला ये क्या बकवास है 
ये क्या हो रहा है पॉपकॉर्न में अब क्या ये रोने से आवाज आ रही है मैंने कहा ये बहुत अच्छी लग रही सर इसको आप रखो जब मैं गाना बनाया तो मैंने कहा कि इसमें कुछ ऐसा टच होना चाहिए कि इनको लगी बहुत पुराना गाना है तो मेरी मासी गुजर गई है हम भी दो चार दिन एक मासी मेरे ना रोने लगी आंसू मैंने की होया बोलती यार मुझे लगता है कि मैंने ये मैंने कहीं सुना हुआ है बहुत टची है मैंने सुना हुआ बचपन में मुझे लगा ये हिट तो दो लाइने सुना दीजिए पाजी तुनक तुनक की बजे तुम पे वाली तार सुन दिल दी पुकार आजा कर लिये प्यार बताइए हमें हमारे दर्शकों को फायदे ऑफ एन एफ टी एक सिंगर के लिए एक म्यूजिशियन एक म्यूजिशियन के लिए मुझे बिल्कुल मालूम था और जब मुझे मेटावर्स बारे बिल्कुल पता ही नहीं था क्या क्या बुला होती है मुझे उनका फोन आया और बोलते कि भाजी हम आपको तो मेटावर्स करना चाहते हैं मैं मैंने सिर्फ पाँच सेकंड पहुंच लिया और मैं तुम्हें बोलूं क्या मुझे पता नहीं क्या क्या कह रहा है किस चीज़ की बात कर रहा है तो मैंने कहा अच्छा पहले किसी ने किया है ये बोलते सर यू में तो तीन लोगों ने किया है पर पूरे वर्ल्ड में और किसी ने नहीं किया तो आप करेंगे मैं तो बिल्कुल करूँगा और वो कामयाब भी हुआ छब्बीस जनवरी को तीन गाने उन्होंने किए बड़ा अलग एक्सपीरियंस है बहुत अलग क्योंकि आप मैं बड़ा हैरान हो कि वो आए मुझे कहा कि आप लेफ्ट देखिए राइट देखिए ऊपर देखिए नीचे देखिए मेरे फोटो ली बोल दी बस हो गया मैंने कहा मतलब ये शूट कब होगा बस हम कर लेंगे वो मेरे बहुत नई चीज़ थी क्या और मिलते लगता मेरा डिसीजन बहुत अच्छा था And with that we have come to the end of this week's episode of Now Showing. We will see you next week with more reviews and interviews. Until then, goodbye and thank you for watching.